Well, there's a cruise now, uh, a themed cruise for pretty much everything. Uh, I got involved with it uh, in, in, let's see, it was uh, the early 2000s. And I was asked by a buddy of mine, Warren Hill, who was uh, hosting one of these cruises to be a guest. And I had this bad taste in my mouth about cruises from when I was on a cruise with my parents to Ensenada, Mexico. <laughs> my family. I hated it. I was like, the ship was not happening, and it just was there, there was no cohesiveness to it. It was just a bunch of people on vacation together who didn't want to be on vacation together, going to some pretty cl crappy places. <laughs> So he says to me, you know, come and be a guest on this cruise. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll just come. And then I it was in the Caribbean, and I walked on that ship for one day. I did my uh, special guest in a show, and I saw firsthand, for the first time, what was possible on these cruises. And it sort of, um, it lit a fire in me. And then I got the opportunity to be the host myself. We started the Dave Cos Cruise in 2005. It was the year that my mom um, uh, went at the hospital the week before our very first cruise. Our cruise was uh, San Diego to Mexico, Mexican Riviera, and it was leaving on Saturday. My mom went in the hospital very suddenly on Monday. And I was thinking to myself, she's, she's going to be okay and she's gonna be with us on that cruise because she had planned to come and she passed away very suddenly because um, my mom was suffering for something that she, even she didn't know she had and it was all made very apparent during that week in the hospital and she passed away around 5 p.m. on Friday and my brother and sister and I just we were in shock because it was not this was not supposed to happen there was no warning about this and um, so I did not make it for my first day on my very first cruise. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I was not there. Uh, I went on, it, it left on Saturday, and I flew on a Tuesday to meet the ship, uh, and it was in Mazatlan, Mexico. And I remember getting on that ship, and coming up through the, they had one of those stages that sunk and could, uh, hydraulically lift and I got a um, like a captain's outfit on with a hat and everything and I was had this idea that I just was gonna show up there and unannounced for my own cruise and show up and salute the audience and say I'm here and there's no place that I'd rather be and I can if I let my mind go there I can feel the feeling of what that was like having just lost my mom and seeing all these people that were just so there for me and there for each other. And I think that, that that's why we still have the cruise business that, that does so well is because I think in that moment there was a lock that this is what this experience is about. We're not going to shy away from, you know, real life stuff. This is about celebrating our lives, all the good, all the bad, crazy stuff you know let's let's be real here and now on every cruise when you look through the souvenir uh, memory book there's a picture of my mom because she really did set this cruise uh, with, with an intention it was a very significant intention I credit my mom of, of seeing everybody and celebrating everybody <laughs>